All right, guys and girls, it's about to get dark, but we are about to do what we do every year around Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day week, we stock crawfish, Louisiana crawfish, fresh from the from the mud pits in South Louisiana. Look at all those. Those are those are come right off the boat, not iced down, not anything, just right off the boat, bagged up, not graded. My buddy Steve Cagle over there got we got uh, we we got the Cajuns here, and we're gonna we're gonna stock in Eagle. We're gonna also put some crawfish in Canyon, and we're gonna put some crawfish in my buddy's lake, John Dixon, across the lake. Gonna put about across the county road, put about ten bags in over there. But uh, but we have we have got crawfish, and these Louisiana crawfish do really really good here. I mean, they do really good. They uh, they'll burrow up about July. They burrow up about July, and Mama crawfish will have about 400 babies. And it's absolutely outstanding protein for the bass. Bass love mud bugs, no doubt about it. And uh, we're going to be out here putting them out. Here comes Stormy. I, never, I wasn't going to leave without you, Stormy. Guarantee you, wasn't going to leave without you. We just need to save 10 bags to go across the road. We'll put 40, 40 in over here. And... Uh, Uh, how many bags you got in this one? Oh, we got ten left over. Okay, we saved ten for go across the road to John's. How many you want to put in the lake? Uh, <clears throat> well, if we got if we got forty, we have forty total or fifty total. We have thirteen hundred pounds. They're about thirty-five pounds. Of okay, so what we need to put about? We need to probably put about. We don't. We know how many sacks. We, we we just need to know how many sacks we put across the road, out of the total sacks. We're gonna, we're gonna stack up 10 right we might put eight. If they're thirty-five pounds, we'll put eight sacks across the road. Let's, let's put eight sacks across the road. Let's put eight sacks. How many sacks we? How many sacks you got over there? Two, three, four, five. I got six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven over here. I got seven over here. So we'll save eight eight sacks for for across the road. Okay. If they're thirty five each. We'll save eight sacks over. That'd be bad. Twenty more. We still got twenty. So you want to put? Um, we got eight for over yonder, and how many you want to put in? Camp? Well, we'll put twelve over in the other lake. Then we'll okay. put the rest of them in over here. So we're ready. We got loaded. We got. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We all right. I tell you. Uh, all right. Well, let's go over and let's go over and. Uh, I think I'd rather do the front yard over there. Okay. Or, or if you want, if you want, you can take yours and dump out here, and uh, Stormy and I'll go dump out over at, uh, right. over at over at my partner's house. Right. Got I got I got good help in Stormy right here. You got a knife? I got a knife. I got a knife. Yes, I do. I a big knife. Larry, Larry, is Larry still out here? Did Larry go in? I thought he was going to go too. He's over there by Larry, you going to ride with us? Here, we'll, we'll, we'll pick him up over there. We'll, we'll, pick, we'll pick Larry up. All right, we're going to start dumping right here. These bags are about 35 pounds, about 35 pounds each. And what we do on dumping them is we go to dump them right at the edge of the water. We, get, we, we kind of spread them out here. We don't want them all at the same spot. We're going to dump them right at the edge of the water. And all you do is just cut it and start them out. And there they go. You don't shove them out? I get that. You get them. Okay. Start them out. I'm going to get Stormy's. And just kind of walk down that way with a little bit where they're not all gang piled up on top of each other. Don't want them in the water. Want them on the bank, right on the edge of the water. There you go, Stormy. Well, I hope that I hope we got something bigger than that to eat. Oh, these are just these are not graded. Huh? These are not graded here. We got something to eat bigger. Oh yeah, yeah. They'll all be graded. They'll all be big. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> All right, that's five or six bags right here. Steve and the other guys went over, went over to dump some out around the front of our house. After we do this, we're going to go over to. You can see here, we've got all sizes, and uh, they're pretty much dumped out. You can see how lively they are. They'll they'll disperse out through there. Now some will turn and walk up this other direction. We kind of turn around, throw them back toward the water. They will eventually get going back toward the water. But you can see, now let me tell you something else. <laughs> crawfish, these crawfish are really putting a lot of scent in the water. Probably bass coming out there right now up under that grass coming up here looking for them. A lot of them will get eaten tonight. There'll be a lot of crawfish that won't make it to daylight. <laughs> but there'll be a tremendous amount that do also. And uh, you can look and see some of them crawling back the other directions. A lot of time we just pick them up, pick them up and throw them out in the water. The great thing about the great thing about this situation here is is we got a lot of crawfish for the for the bags because of the fact that we got all sizes. They're not graded. A lot of these crawfish that are here, in fact. Most of these crawfish that's here would not be would not be eating crawfish. They would simply go back into the bayou and back in to live and grow and get larger before they before they get eat. But uh, but all we need is crawfish of whatever size. Got a tendency to want to bite you when you pick up a big wad of them like that. The better, the more spread out they are, the better, better you are. You can see there's a few dead ones in there, but not many. They made a long trip today from South Louisiana all the way up to Southern Oklahoma. All right, let's go over around the front of the lake and uh, we'll dump several more sacks in. Doesn't take long to get them all out there. We got about, we got about a little over a thousand pounds we're putting in these two lakes, Big uh, Canyon and Twin Eagle. A little bit more in Twin Eagle. You can look around and see what a gorgeous evening it is. Just now getting dark. And the eagle is getting some stockings. Or tilapia did not get here today, so maybe they'll get here tomorrow. <laughs> Stormy did fall out. You okay, Stormy? All right. We got there's a half a bag up there too. Let's don't forget it. Stormy, if you want, baby, you can actually take that bag and spread it out over around on both sides of that dock. It'd be okay if you want. Oh uh, yeah, let me let me let me let me open your let me open yours for you. Go go ahead and come down here, and I'll open it right down here. Get down here close to water. You can go one way and let him go the other if you want. I'll take that other bag. Hold it up where I can get get to it. Yeah, hold it up straight up. I've got to tell you that in sharp. Boy, Hunter's Edge is effective. Oh, I got a bag out of here on the ground. I knew I had a bag out somewhere. All right. All right, I'm going to go down this way. Dump them in. Set my camera up here where we can watch what's going on. All right, we got another bag laying here. This is the last bag I've got. Steve and, and Terry and all of them will probably 
got the other bags out over there and we're going to start putting them out right at the water's edge go down through here and try to spread them out as much as possible <laughs> alright that'll get her done here That'll get her done here for uh, uh, for the eagle, and uh, we got it with about 1,200 pounds total that uh, that we actually are putting in these lakes, and then I got about uh, about 300 pounds or so, eight sacks, 35 pounds, whatever that is, eight times 35, 280 pounds. That'll go across the street to my buddy John Dixon. So we've got them socked over here. Uh, we're going to go load up some more, go to Canyon, put some in over there, and we'll have this stocking done. Well, we got to run across the road, stick it over there. Plus, we got six sacks we're putting uh, in the cooler. We'll eat those Saturday night. We'll have, a big, uh, we'll have a big video on how to boil crawfish and have a crawfish boil with 40 or 50 of your best friends. Yeah. Okay, we're over at Canyon Lake now. I'm going to get put about a dozen bags in Canyon. Save eight ba bags to take across the county road to my buddy John Dixon, put in his lake, fatten his bass up. I go over there and fish occasionally. Hadn't been over in a couple years. I need to get over there after they get all fat on crawfish. Boy, there's a lot of crawfish in these bags, so there's not too many big ones. That's a good deal. That is, that, yeah, this is, this is perfect. I think we're only supposed to have four left. Yeah. But we're going to put some of this other one. I'll put some in that other one. Okay, you need to have four for... Four, and then you got four in the truck? Four in the truck. Yep. And eating fish, right? I got one. I got one. I had a sunk with just broke loose. And a friend of mine's dad had one. And four in the truck. All right. Got four and four in the truck. So that'd be that'd be eight eight for across the road. <laughs> okay, here we are on a nice little spot right here. We're gonna dump them out here, here, here to the deal. You can see this lake is really low. They're over to Canyon Lake, and it's low. Steve and them are dumping some bags over there. We're going to start dumping some bags right here. Find my knife here in my pocket. Cut the lid off. I got them. I'll carry them for you, baby. I'm gonna cut the lid off and then I'm gonna come and video you, Stormy. Okay, we got it going on right here. Definitely got it going on. Look at all the mud bugs down through there. And we're in a situation where, we're in a situation where definitely walk out on the tire and throw them out there on the other side of the tire. Ha ha ha. Don't fall in. Ah, you can walk around it if you want. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Go around on the other side. That's all right. As long as they're out there, they'll get in. Yeah, just kind of take your, take your hand. Take your hand kind of push them out there a little bit. Mud bugs in the water. Yeah, some of them will crawl the wrong direction, but they'll find their way back to the water. <clears throat> Look at all of them down through there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Dry. Wow. Look at that one right there. Put him up here. Can I see him? Look you there. Woo! Hold him over here in the light. Hold him over here in the light. There we go. Ah, that's a big mud bug. That's an eating mud bug there. Throw him out there. 
Uh, Stormy, uh, take it and drive it up here and point it down this way a little bit. Don't drive close to water though, you'll run over the mud bugs and you'll get stuck. Come on, Tori. Where are you pointing at? <laughs> From back there? Woohoo! Looky there, looky there. Look at that. Ah, yeah. 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 Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. That is what I'm talking about. Look at all those mud bugs. They got a new home. Many of them will get eaten before daylight, but a lot of them, a lot of them will, will be here a long time from now. They'll burrow up. They'll have babies. They'll live out in the deep water during the August and September and the fall, and uh, they'll provide a, a lot of great, a lot of great eating, a lot of great eating. Well, a lot of big old bass. Okay, here's another really good deal over here. Uh, this is my buddy. This is. No, the ones in the other one. Where are they? Weren't they right behind us? No, they're up that way. No, they they got the ones that need to go here. They better not put those others in the lake. Yeah, where'd they go? Oh, there they are right there. There they are. <laughs> Man, we just about really messed up. We just about put, we just about put, uh, we just about put the wrong, this is uh, John's and Jay put, turned the cooler on for us here so we could put the uh, crawfish in here. We are gonna put these babies in here. The red sacks are the eating crawfish. We got six sacks of them, which is about, well, it'd be uh, six times 35. It'd be 210 pounds. I ciphered that up right. 210 pounds of big Louisiana eating crawfish. Looky right there. Looky right there at that. Oh, I'm telling you what. This is the deal right here. We are going to be doing a video also on the crawfish boil. I have a bunch of friends and neighbors over. I think last year we had 48 people. And we got we got the guys that know how to do it too. Now we had a lot of people on social media last year tell us how wrong we did it, but we didn't hear any complaints from any of the eaters on how wrong we did it. I think all the people who was telling us we did it wrong were just thinking because they wasn't partaking in what we were we were enjoying. But that's a cool deal right there. Now these will be just fine. Uh, we got six bags. 210 pounds right there. 210 pounds of crawfish. That's a nice cooler right there. I promise you that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice cooler. All right. What do you think, Steve? We can make sure it's just like it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to fix mine just like it, too. We're going to do that. We're definitely, we're definitely going to do that. We might do that before you leave here this week. As a matter of fact, I'm, we're into that. We, we, I don't either. We gotta cut a hole in that wall. The jigsaw. Uh, huh? Somebody ought to have a sawzall or a jigsaw. Well, I don't. I'm in a car. Yeah, he don't have his truck with him. My truck won't go. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we come up with. Because I like that idea. That'd be a good thing to do a video on anyway. Teach people how to do that. All right, let's go get rid of these last eight and give them to John Dixon. All right, we had a hard time finding the lake over here in the dark. But Jay has mowed around quite a few places. And so we got, yeah, we found, we found water and we found a really good place to stock crawfish. I'm telling you what, it's going to make a huge difference in this lake. We help, uh, help him over here with fertilizer and it's made a, fertilizer has made a huge difference in John's lake. This is a, huh? Your knife. My knife. This is a tremendous lake.
It's only, I think it's about 60 acres, but it's just, it's just got some really, really big fish in it. It's a beautiful fish. We've done a show or two over here over the years. I actually brought Matt Airy and Scott Canterbury over here and did a show with Matt Airy, and Matt and I caught some really big fish that day. Really big fish. Caught them on crankbaits and worms, mostly crankbaits and Lucky Strike American Originals. And uh, we're getting some, getting some crawfish out here. We got almost 300 pounds over here for John, eight sacks. And uh, he does a lot of exotic deer hunting as well as whitetail deer hunting. He's got red stag over here on this ranch. Buckhorn, he commercial hunts it. We don't commercial hunt at our ranch, but he commercial hunts over here. And they actually have even had, they have, uh, oh, Larry's down here putting them, putting them in. And I didn't even know it. I didn't even see you down here. Yeah, well, you're too busy on your phone. All right, there we go. Planting crawdads to grow big bass. Planting crawdads to grow big bass. Nothing wrong with that. Here, Carter's got another bag over here. She's pretty, she's pretty handy with that knife, isn't she? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I don't blame you. <coughs> the knife is very, very sharp. Uh, gets your attention in a hurry. <laughs> it might get deeper in a hurry too. You know they they ought to be able to do really well. They got tons of stuff to eat, and they uh, they're on the edge. They're on the edge where you hear some frogs no, it wasn't that. and crickets. It was like um, a hog or elk. You heard a hog or an elk? I mean, you could have heard a elk or even a red deer. How many more bags we got? I think they took. I think they took them. The other two, wasn't they? Two. Is that the last one in our our deal? Okay, we finally found the dock. It's a little bit different when you come over here at nighttime, as opposed to daytime. But we got some riprap down here too. This is really a kind of a perfect place to put them. Where you got riprap? We got a good situation right here. Oh yeah, his water is pretty clear too. Need to fertilize a little bit more, I believe. Might hand that bag to her. Might, that's gonna be no, gonna fall on them riprap. That riprap's hard to walk in. I like the way you laid the light down, Stormy. Sorry. I was telling you about that riprap, and here I'm down here walking around on it. Well, they're, they're shooting out in those rocks, aren't they? Man, well, yeah, walk on down there to those rocks and dump, just dump them all out there in the water. That, that'd be fine, I think. Well, they're, they're, they're shooting out in those rocks, I'm telling you. I mean, look at them going out in there. I mean, they are, that, that, might be the, that might be the best two bags of the whole deal right there. You know what?